Okay, um, I've got uh, some nettle fibre here, uh, some wool fibre, and some cat hair. I don't know if that will take, but I'll give it a go. Um, the idea is I'm going to use green nettle leaves for the green dye, and this is um, grounded up nettle roots for yellow dye. Um, I'm going to try to I'm going to use a, a solution, a weak solution of vinegar um, to, it says to, so it, the material, the wool will absorb the dye, um, but as a little experiment I've got three little bits here that I'm going to leave <coughs> without fixing to see what the difference is. Um, so. Yep. Um, so to make up the, um, I'm going to um, make up the dyes tonight and let them um, soak overnight to saturate the solution, and uh, and also it'll be cool um, tomorrow. So, all right. So in the book it says to put twice as much water in. So I've got my nettles. They are. Uh, but don't sting because they've, they've been these ones have dried for a little bit so in there we go and uh, in my nettles I go yep. I just pour the water in there yep. Okay, so now the case. I'm gonna just put a bit more water in there. there. A bit more water in there. there we go. And then I just need to clean up quickly. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring these up to a, the boil and then let them simmer away for about an hour and uh, I'll be back. <coughs> well, I've just come back and I, I best to keep an eye on it while it's coming up to boil because it's spilled over and I've got all these bits around the saucepan. But as you can see, uh, just bringing it back up to the boil, I'm going to simmer it for an hour, but it's become a sort of browny, yellowy colour. Um, we shall see, but this has definitely turned green, so yeah, that'd be good. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be back in another hour. I'm just gonna uh, make up the vinegar solution about four to one with the water and vinegar. I've just got some um, malt vinegar here, don't know if that's gonna make a difference compared to the white wine. That in there. And then let that bring to the boil and you know, simmer a fabric in there uh, uh, just a couple of minutes um, and see how it goes. Okay, so it's just coming to the boil now and uh, uh, turn it down a bit. Ferocious. Um, so I'm going to put the wool in first and then the cat hair and the nettles last because it's still got bits on that I'm going to have to get off so um, put my mulch wool here so I'm going to put, put that in there Just submerge 
Try not to move it because apparently it might felt up so <coughs> I'm just going to um, let that stay in there for five minutes and take it out and rinse it in water ready to go into a dye. So I've just put some warm water in here with the uh, the wool and you can see the brown seeping out from the vinegar so I'm going to keep I put some warmish water in there to stop it from belting or thermal shock or something so I'm going to keep repeating this until I've got clearish liquids maybe two more times so three in total um, okay so after rinsing a few times um, in warmish water um, I've Try not to mess around with it too much. I've just patted it dry with some tissue roll. The the wool's already quite dry there. It's quite uh, good at losing it. The nettles on the other hand, it's a bit. I'll see. I'll, I'll leave them overnight and see um, if they're dry tomorrow to start dying. But it shouldn't matter even if it's dry. And hopefully uh, this hasn't felted up. So yeah, I've got my non-fixed and my fixed. They're ready to be dyed. Okay, I've um, let it cool overnight and soak in as much as it can and um, and sieved all the stuff out. Um, it's sort of like a, you can see a green tinge around the outside, but it's quite brown and with this there's a yellowish tinge, brownie, but um, yeah, I'm just going to decant them into some bags with the, the various fibres and uh, let them it for uh, a day because I think the more time you leave them the more um, it absorbs the dye. I've got these bags labelled up um, the colour and whether they've been fixed and what um, uh, pipe I used uh, for my foot. I've got a bowl of water here just to rinse you know see how if it will rinse out um, but I'm going to try to find my wall that is fixed. Uh, in green. Um, wall fixed in green. So, yeah, I have that. And so I'm just going to uh, rinse out. some nettle seeds from um, when I didn't filter it but you can see a bit of green coming off it now um, so I'm just going to move it around a little bit and then rinse it off three times and then uh, just soak this up soak up the water 
uh, apparently you can uh, use a, uh, a salad spinner to, to get off the majority of the water then uh, I think it's just a case of letting it dry in the sun um, but yeah so I shall carry on with the others and uh, let them dry and I'll show you okay um, so yeah this is uh, the nettle non-fixed and if I just compare it to the original um, a slight darkening but um, yeah not, not really much slight greeny tinge to it and uh, with the nettle yellow that's been fixed um, if I fluff it out a little bit maybe but there's definitely a a slight yellowy tinge to it and then the green um, that's taken uh, again you can see little marks where it's eaten in so again a tinge um, with the wool um, um, that was non-fixed uh, still the same um, so not much changes there uh, with the green there is a slight tinge and you can still see the nettle seeds so um, and with the yellow um, Again, just the, it's definitely softened it, um, but I don't know if that was due to the the vinegar wash. But again, uh, with the cat hair, it wasn't point in uh, in doing anything because being a hair, it, I'm sure if you used a peroxide or a hair bleaching product from the supermarket, it might change it. But um, yeah, I wasn't expecting anything there. Um, 